What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Shagafan back with another requested video from you guys. And today's video has been requested by DBHD Mods a couple minutes ago. He said, Can you do a video on how to mod World of War? Now I, I think, or actually I, I assume you mean like how to install custom zombies maps or custom multiplayer maps or actually some, um, uh, what's it called, the, like some custom easter egg kind of map, like, like the original maps remastered or recreated for a custom easter egg. So, sorry for that, that was my phone, but let's get on with it. First of all. If you have the correct version, so the free version of World of War, um, I think it will work, but I don't know because I have the legit version, so if you have the correct version, try this and I'm pretty sure it will work, but you know, just in case if it doesn't, I don't know, <laughs> I just fucking don't know. So first of all, let's make sure that we have our mods folder, so what, what we're gonna do is search on... Type in percent app data percent. Oh, oops. Oh wow. Percent app data percent. If you don't know how to do the percent sign thingy, the symbol, your shift, and then five. Um, and you may be like, hey, you have percent app data folder and app data. Well, that's because I have app data as a non-hidden folder, so I can just do app data. But yeah, just do percent app data and then uh, go here to your name. And you can like detect everything, right click, properties, and then you know, uncheck hidden and then just do apply and then okay. Anyway, so like I said, go to percent app data percent, go to local Activision Call of Duty World of War, and make sure that you do have a mods folder. If not, just create one because other mods will go in here. Alright, now. What I did is this mods folder, like the activity folder over here, it's on my C drive. Now that's by default it's on C, but because C, my C drive is a SSD card with uh, about 400 gigs or actually 450 gigs, um, I have a D drive with about one terabyte of memory. So what I did is you know installed. I always install games and stuff like that in my local D. So what I'm saying is the game itself is in local D but the maps are in C. Now there's a fix for this because this will probably cause you some troubles and you know issues and stuff, but it's easily uh, fixable if that's a fucking word, but anyway. So you can fix it easy. So go to D, you know, go to Steam, Steam Maps, Common, and then World of War. You can see here World of War is in here. And there's no mods folder because the mods folder is in local C. Uh, so anyway, app data, uh, inside app data, go to local and then make sure there's a mods folder in World of War. If not, just create one, no caps, nothing. From there, you can have this, UGX Map Manager 1.4.4. Um, I think there may be a newer version, but if there is, um, the 1.4 version 1.4.4 is the correct one that I'm using because like I said earlier I have uh, the game itself on my local D and then the mods in local C so if I run this alright will take a couple seconds that load and it will crash now if you I'm I do live in the in Europe oh, what the fuck was that? I do live in Europe uh, but don't select Europe just do USA now, I don't know why, but shit happens and won't download the fucking uh, map. So anyway, once that everything's loaded, you have here a section here, future non-UGX maps. Click on that. And you will see here, Christmas and stuff like that. Lots of maps here, right? But not all of them works. Because, well, for me, it doesn't. Um, for example, if I do Moon version 1.0 and you do download select the map, it will automatically start downloading and installing it in your uh, D drive or you know wherever your Steam is uh, located. Or I don't know, it just installs where your game is, has been installed. 
For me, it's in local C, so what I need to do is show all maps version, and you should do it too. Because then, if I go to moon, 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 moon. I think I lost it. Ah, here. Moon. And now, if I hit down selected map, it should. There we go. It should say, like, oh, where do you want to download? So now you, I can browse to the exact location of, like I said, F Data, Local, X Vision, Call of Duty World of War, and then Mods. And then you, that's the place where you need to download the money. If you don't do that, uh, you hit cancel, show new map versions, and I go to moon, to moon, download, and it will automatically download, but it's not gonna work. I'm gonna cancel here because it, it, it cannot find my, uh, my mods folder. So, you know, you see, it's broken kinda, I can't even fucking cancel. So, let's close that. Uh, that's the easiest version, uh, the yeah, method of downloading and installing maps. That's for custom zombies, however, if you open your favorite internet browser, for me it's um, Google Chrome of course, but there's a thing going on here. Set as default, come on, it doesn't do this shit, like... Nope. Alright, fuck that then. Um, what you wanna do is go to zombiemodding.com. Uh, all the links will be down in the description box below, guys. Don't 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 worry. And you have to make a uh, account. And then you go here. This is like the. Uh, okay, that that doesn't work. But you know, amazing or most decent. I mean, most recent maps. It will show you here. SpongeBob, in fact, Orbit, Return. I don't know what the fuck that is. But what you want to do is go to downloads, do maps slash custom content, and then you see here Nazi zombies. That's World War, probably the five World War PC version, uh, and you have Black Ops. Uh, custom zombies is not in uh, Black Ops. I can show you real quick. It's just like. Some mods, yeah. There you go 11 mods and then yeah, black swan kill them double. Yeah, there you go. Standard shit. However, downloads maps slash custom maps. Oh, I mean mods slash custom uh, maps. Nazi zombies, so that's World of War. Then you have here maps, mods, patches, tools, prefab, and models, textures, and whatever. Also, I forgot to mention if you have the disc version. Uh, you do need to download and install the patches. If you have the Steam version, you are good to go. You can skip the patches because it's already patched. But, um, yeah. Sorry for this. Uh, and also disable ad blocker. <laughs> but if you have the disc version, go to this link and go into patches and then Windows. And you see here, uh, Patch version 1.1, 1.2, 1.2.1, 1 .1, and 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.6 1.7. So you do need to do this all in correct order. So download this, install it. Download uh, version 1.2, install it. Download version 1.2 and 1.4. Do that one, and then it goes on 1.5, 1.6, 1.6 to 1.7. Um, I think there is a all patches in one download. That's kind of new, I think. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's four years after the normal ones. Okay, but still, you can do that. But uh, don't know if it's gonna work. Just thirteen comments. Anyway, um, the download file is big. Installing it is also big, like my dick. So it will take a time. And if you fuck it up with, let's say you are at 1.2 and 1.4 and then you install 1.6, it's not a problem because it will say you need to download and install version 1.5 first. So if you forgot the way you were, let's say you're, in, you're at 1.2 and then you want to go like 1.5, it will say, hey, you need to download 1.4 first. So, and then you go back here and it says here 1.2 and 1.4. Alright, so download that, install it, and then you're good to go. Otherwise, you cannot do custom zombies. Well, you can, but it's like a Nocturne Toten style. And that sucks. No Pekka Punch, no perks, no monkey bombs and stuff. 
no custom textures, no custom weapons, so yeah, do these patches and then you're good to go. So, let's go back here to, what is it, maps, now you have your mods, tools, prefab models, textures, that is for making your own map, however, it's a request for mods, so for mods, you go here, and it says like prototype mod, third Prototype means it's like uh, Nachtrun Totem style mod, so yeah. And then uh, for Rook Shino Numa mods, the Reese mods, mods for all map types. Click on that. Zombie Realism, spawn with a ray gun, golden camouflage multiplayer mod, it's in beta. Uh, okay. Uh, Call of Duty 4 font mod for World of War, Zombie Realism version 2.2 with patch 1. Zombie mode skins pack key perk mod. Don't know what that means, but hey, these are the mods. Um, pro type mods. What do we have here? Uh, Rollins gun mod, special combat mod. Oh, okay, so that's like mod weapons. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Nazi zombie tower defense. So that's a custom zombies map. Uh, revamp. Mod version, I don't know what that is. Uh, modern weapons. If you do the Reese mods, uh, Super Health mod, Terror X, Super Weapons mod, Super House beta. It says here beta, but that was seven years ago. God damn. Um, that's for mods, but hey, you want maps. 856 maps, guys. And you can choose here, uh, prototype style maps, no perk machines, no upgrade weapons, no hellhounds, old school, all the way, easy, medium, difficulty. Perk style maps, that means perk machines, zappers, baddies, and moving random boxes, medium, difficult. Uh, this is Shinuma random perk machines, Japanese zombies, hellhounds, wonder weapon, and flogger, medium slash hard difficulty. The Reese, upgradable weapons, teleporters, and bowie knife, hard slash, oh, it's hard difficulty, so. Okay, that makes it clear. And then modded maps, it says here you need 1.6 patch installed. So that's the 1.6 to 1.7. Uh, maps that are heavily customized or have features from more than one style of map, map type, hard difficulty. And then there's beta maps. Um, it's like 40 beta maps. I don't know if you're into that. Unfinished broken maps so that you can go ahead and you know make it your own map. Give some credits though. So what you want to do is go into after installing all the patches again, mod and with again I mean like you don't need to do it again, but because I said it anyway. So go into modded maps after you have installed the patches once, just once, and then you're done with it. Um, you can go here. You have lots of um, yeah, lots of different maps, dude. Like. Uh, 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 you have not zombie, whatever, alien defense. Uh, but yeah, if you download one, uh, what will happen is, I don't know what the fuck this is, but you can see here, ooh, okay. It says here features campaign Japanese soldier zombies, no dogs, custom pack a punch camo, black ops, guns, zappers, black ops, perks. Electric Cherry, Glowing Zombie Eyes, Electric Cherry, well, okay, that's pretty cool. Glowing Zombie Eyes, Wind, and then we have Glowing Zombie Eyes, Wind, Lightning, and Thunder. I don't, oh, that's like the weather itself. Risers, awesome gameplay. Uh, well, of course, you made it. Uh, I will add futures, credits, and then you have like pictures, which are, uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. So, now I wonder like how, okay, I love Shinonuma style maps. I love Shangri-La, especially the Easter egg, and then this map is just awesome. So you can do download now mirror, but just click on download. Boom. That's it. That's fucking it. And then you have a .exe file. Click on it. And Windows fucking protected your PC. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so now I should have fixed the issue. If I go to downloads. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't expect this. Where is it? 
Actually, no, no, mind. There we go. Double click. There we go. All right. Run. This app can't run on your PC to find the version for your PC. Okay, so that's a problem you might have. It's not built for Windows 10. And it will, again, it's a .exe file or setup, whatever. Hit install. You can show details, doesn't really matter. You can see here, app data, local, activate and call the world of war mods. I don't know why, but this does automatically knows where your game is and where your uh, mods folder is. So it's all good. And uncheck this. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, uncheck this. And this method does work on Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 because I am at the moment on Windows 10. Yeah. Um, so now let's run the game and let's see how everything goes. Alright, so the game has been loaded up as you can see right here. And what you need to do is um, don't go into mods yet. Go into options and controls, go to game options, and make sure that enable console is checked to yes. It doesn't matter if you have this at unrestricted, uh, subtitles, yes, enable crosshair, yes, that, that doesn't matter. The thing that does matter is enable console. So make that yes, and then go back here. So if you press the button that's located under escape, and left to the number one, you see the uh, the um, squishy <laughs> fucking dash kind of thing. And if you press that, you can see you can enable console, and you know you can toggle it to yes and on and off and stuff like that. So if I do here, blah, 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 you know you can do shit. So that's important for some of the maps. However, if you load a map, so now you can go into mods. And uh, I have a couple mods here. Now I kind of lost. Um, hmm, speak of lost, <laughs> but I've downloaded the Red Sand. There we go. So I and the the newer modded maps or custom zombies maps are has like has like a uh, custom play button kind of thing, but some of the older ones, like the classic ones, doesn't. So and it's some recent ones has the the, the custom button um, and some does doesn't so anyway load your map selected hit launch all right so um now you can see here red sand solo red sand co-op so which means that if i click this it will automatically play the map if it doesn't say play solo or whatever so if it doesn't has a, a solo play button what you need to do is uh, open up the console so again underneath escape left to the number one it's squig squiggle line kind of thing squishy line and then you type in uh, dev no actually map space Nazi underscore zombie underscore and then the map name so it was red sand so what I think I think that the developer of the map had made it like this red underscore sand yeah and i was right so you can see you can click on the solo button but you know i was showing you the console thing just in case so it says here, activision and let's see what do we have all right uh it looks I think decent i think the game is a bit loud isn't it uh, master volume like that mainframe your bitch bitch um so hold on I don't like this uh let's do POV set I'm just POV no that doesn't work oh what the hell these aren't zombies. Hmm. And now the game is not that loud anymore. Mm, that should be good. Alright, yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so you do get damage from the thing. 
so yeah you can see that this map is a really early uh, map you can tell that by you know everything actually Dangoonie's other house achievement earned the fuck okay do we have custom weapons no you might feel a little prick. the fuck is that oh that's I think that's a zombie boss or not so there's no doors that I need to open oh calling an airstrike okay so yeah you can see here the the map is working I downloaded it and installed it correctly which is really nice and really good so yeah as you can oh wow uh, we get lots of things so yeah here you go that's it and I don't think because it's a Shinonuma type of map oh you do okay Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Alright, let's knife this bitch. So as you can see, it works. The download is all good. We did it correctly. And you can actually... If you keep jumping, kind of helps. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? We should... Okay, I'm going to try one thing. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. If you have another uh, video you want me to... Uh, if you have another uh, request, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below or with a tweet. And you know, it's way easier to tweet it for me, uh, to me. And yeah, it makes it a lot easier uh, for me. So anyway guys, I hope I helped you out. And if I did, why don't you just fucking like the video? I saw a fucking MP40 somewhere here. Come on. Ah. Uh -huh. eh. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're a fucking poor bitch. But yeah, guys. So, if you have any issues installing uh, or downloading anything, let me know in the comment section down below. And you know, if you have a question that's not related to World of War, feel free to let me know with a tweet and or a comment down below as well. I will. I would love to help you out, guys, and I will do my best <coughs> to not die. And I died. Okay. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.